Formula One is relentless. 22 races each year, new regulations, a new campus, more than 200 new staff to incorporate. And on top of all that, we have a cost cap. We must not spend more than a certain amount for racing and operations and development. Racing is a sport that's built on engineering and technology. And it all needs to perform optimally, not only on the track, but in the back office. Aston Martin and Cognizant have a five-year roadmap to compete with the leading teams in three years and to be at the top in five years. As a design team, we generate data from lots of different areas, from wind tunnel to CFD to trackside, DILSIM to simulation. And for all those different areas, generate a huge amount of data. So having a centralized database is incredibly important to the efficiency of the way we run. So efficiency in working, in the way that we can produce parts, generate answers, solutions, get those to the track as quick as possible is really what the sport is about. We've introduced a system where before we put any upgrades onto the car, we assess the cost of those upgrades on a part-by-part -part basis against the lap time that we think those parts are going to deliver. So we really are now into an ROI concept on the parts that go onto the car and why we are upgrading those parts. Last year, when we did the first submissions to the FIA on the inventory reporting, it took us three weeks. Uh, this year, with all the work and support from Cognizant, we've managed to reduce that to one and a half days. More importantly than the lead time, it's also improved the accuracy so that we now know what we're providing is 100% accurate. And it's taking multiple sources of information and creating one single reporting version of the truth. This new platform allowed for efficient reporting of data to the FIA, but more importantly, established management of costs as a strategic capability for an F1 team. It was a team with the newest on the grid, and it's incredibly important for us to grow our fan base. And that grows our brand and our commercial value. The Aston Martin brand has appealed to a very broad audience. So from the business and technology sector to high net worth individuals and to the wider F1 fan base. The days of mass communications to the entire fan database are gone, and we're helping to segment and speak directly to Vettel fans, to Aston Martin buyers, and creating personalized communications that deepen the fan experience. So that means A, the fan gets the best possible experience from a content perspective, but B, it unlocks commercial opportunities for ourselves and our partners to monetize that audience. The greater level of data and insight we have about our audience means that we can engage them with far more certainty. And that's what it means for our team to operate on intuition. With Cognizant, we're allowed to introduce new aspects of development, like machine learning, with a new car and a new set of regulations that we have now. The possibilities for development routes are endless. In Cognizant, we have a partner that manages change, and partnering with them is a fantastic asset to have for us. Cognizant, intuition engineered.